Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 15th through the 21st. Now, keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and uh, we're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently than I usually do my weeklies. I'm going to do you and the other person. So this is going to be for you and somebody that is predominantly in your energy. Now, that may not be who you think it is. So we're just if whoever is, you know, predominantly in your energy is what's going to come up. These reading that I mean it could go vice versa. Like you could be on this side, they could be on. You know, it could go either way. But when I do these readings, I say that this is your side because that's just the way that I see it. But um, if I do happen to see it on this side, I'll let you know. But you know, anyhow. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of February 15th through the 21st? Eight of Pentacles reverse, something not working out. Reckless behavior. So we have reckless behavior here. Somebody that is out of control, not controlling themselves. Uh, mm, Moving too fast, something's not working out, somebody not planning, not planning, not putting in a much effort, not doing what they're supposed to do. Somebody may not be maybe uh, fooling around on the job or not working, or there could be even a, a job that is ending because of foolish behavior. Uh, not taking any action or acting foolishly. So somebody is acting foolishly here, acting without thinking. Uh, moving way, 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 way too fast. And that's probably why something isn't working out. Um, or they're just not taking action. Now, this, something may not be, somebody may not be, may not be, it's interesting, I'm trying to talk too fast. So something is, somebody's trying to move too fast and they need to slow down. Anyhow, um, Eight of Pentacles, not putting in any effort, not taking any action as well. So it could go either way. Um, what about the other person? This could be a sudden departure. It could be. Five of Pentacles reversed. King of Cups reverse. So whoever you're dealing with is emotionally unavailable. They can't master their emotions. Um, they don't have good intentions. They're not stable. They may not be financially stable or emotionally stable. This person is um, has a victim mentality. They may have abandoned you. They may have neglected you. Um, there could be a turning point though, but I don't think so. I see abandonment here. Somebody that is hiding something, they're hiding something, they're not communicating, they don't communicate very well. You're dealing with somebody that has a victim mentality, um, that can't master their emotions. Let's get another card. Hey man, could be dealing with a Pisces, doesn't have to be. Could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio. This is somebody that's not communicating well, they're trying to prove something. Um... They are missing an opportunity because of their ego, because of their pride. They're in that victim mentality. So you're dealing with somebody that is trying to prove something, trying to prove a point. And that's why they're not communicating or they're not giving you anything emotionally because they got some, some sort of proof. They got to prove something. This is somebody that is extremely stubborn. You know, they may be even trying to punish you. You know, they may be trying to punish you in some way. Um, there could be a third party situation here as well. You could be dealing with somebody who is dealing with another person and that's why they're not communicating. Anyway, something is not working out. They may have moved too fast in the beginning and now it's come to a halt or it is coming to a halt. There's obviously been some reckless behavior. Um, let's get one card for Cancer on this side. We have a month. Let's get another one. Oh, we got a few. I'm not going to take them because it's too many. One card, please. There it is. Now let's get one for the other side. Oh, we'll get two. Let's look at yours first. 
December is very prominent. Something may have happened in December and you're going to be dealing with it this week. Rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. So something is coming to an end. And I think that it started in December. Okay, something is coming to an end for you and for the other person. Beetle, good fortune. Maybe it's very fortunate for them that it's coming to an end. Moon, changes in your life. So there is somebody over here that is going to be experiencing some changes in their life. This is breaking free from something. So somebody is being cut free from something they have been hanging on to. It could be a very emotional week for whoever this person is. Maybe this is a turning point where somebody is being broken free from something. Um, there is definitely going to be a change. We have reckless behavior here. Something is not working out. Somebody didn't put in much effort. The situation is coming to an end. This is somebody that flies by the seat of their pants, that doesn't put, that doesn't work very hard, that is very, uh, you know, they don't think. They don't think before they act. And that, I don't know if that's your energy or this is your energy. Um, Four of Pentacles, and this is being released. Somebody is, is, is being released. Okay, they've been holding on to something. It, it's going to be let go. Could be unplanned. It could be an unplanned release. Ah, see how somebody's been thinking about it for a long time. There's, there's been some sort of uh, pretending to be happy, pretending to be emotionally fulfilled. It's, it's superficial. There's been a lack of emotional growth. Somebody hasn't been putting in much effort because there's no passion. There's no desire. We got has somebody who doesn't have any desire to put in any work. So they're letting go. They are definitely letting go. They've been pretending that, you know, they're happy. They've been pretending that it's going to work out. Maybe they've been pretending that, you know, they're going to take action. They're not going to take action. I do think that somebody's been thinking about leaving for quite some time, but they haven't been putting in any effort. They've been thinking about letting go, but they haven't been doing it. Um, they haven't been doing what they say that they're going to do. Uh, there's, a, there's definitely a huge loss here. We have somebody here that is very stubborn, um, very set in their ways, probably very much unstable. Some, this person over here is very, very unstable. They're insecure. They don't have anything solid to offer. They're not really committed. They just want to play. Now, this is about commitment. It's about happiness. It's like building a new foundation. So whoever this person is may have been in a commitment with somebody that is unstable, that isn't giving them anything of value. The great relationship isn't growing. It's not going anywhere. The situation is coming to an end. This is about happiness. It's about commitment. It's about building a new foundation. So whoever is over here, I do believe, is going to be committed to... Uh, letting go of something because you see this that four of sort that four of pentacles is mirroring this and these two fours so we have a couple of fours here fours are universal protection they are also universal guidance all as well i do feel like whoever is on this side is letting go of something that they don't have any desire to put effort into it's being let go and a new foundation is being built you know, and they've been thinking about it for quite some time. Let's go back over here. Whoever on this side is emotionally unavailable. They don't have good intentions. They just want to prove something. They're trying to punish another person. They're being let go. This person's being let go. Ah, Ten of Swords Reverse. Now, this is, this is a... A physical or mental collapse. This is a near-death experience. This is a physical or mental collapse. Somebody is uh, has been suffering for quite some time. Now it's like now they've hit rock bottom. So I feel like we and this is complete total ruin. Somebody is is hitting rock bottom. Whoever this person is, this is. Uh, There's going to be a change. We have somebody here that needs help by the looks of things. This is needs help. Somebody needs help. 
this person needs help. They are very, very egotistical. The hangman reverse, that's somebody that is very controlling, extremely controlling, trying to prove something. Um, Ten of Swords, this is the end of a painful situation that somebody has kept you tied to. It's like they've, they've tried to hurt you in some way. Um, anyhow, there's been some sort of neglect, but there is going to be a turning point. Ten of Swords reverse. This is liberation. It is freedom. Both of these cards. We have freedom here. Somebody is being broken free from somebody that doesn't take care of them, that doesn't love them, that doesn't have good intentions. Which is interesting. Wheel of Fortune. Change in direction. So whoever this person is, their direction is changing. This cycle is coming to an end. Whoever you are dealing with is going in a new direction. They are. They're going in a new direction because they've been in so much pain. They've been hurting for so long. It's like there's no other choice. It, 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 there isn't. They need help. They do need help. We have somebody here that is emotionally bankrupt that needs help. They need to go in another direction because it's killing them to prove this point that they've been trying to prove. So whoever this point, it's the end of a painful situation. This is definitely the end of a painful situation. There's no reason to hang on. This is freedom. This is freedom. Somebody is broken, being broken free from a situation. And they are, this cycle is over. It is over. They are going in a new direction. They're moving away from a loveless situation. That's what's happening. So whoever this person is, is moving away from a loveless situation where they've been abandoned, they've been neglected, you know, they haven't been taken care of. It's been, you know, a very a situation where there's been a lot of control and, and, and punishment, you know, maybe even emotional blackmail. You know, I think there has been some emotional blackmail. Anyhow, um, this is definitely changing directions. It's the end of a cycle. This is good luck. It is good fortune. So we have somebody over here that has been suffering, and they have been tied to a situation that they are breaking free from. It is coming to an end. It is definitely coming to an end. Woo! So that is some sort of reality check. The truth coming out, something that has been hidden is going to be revealed. We have somebody here that may have been hiding their feelings. You know, they, they weren't communicating because they were maybe they were trying to punish somebody. Or they were still tied to a situation, you know, and they were hurting or something like that. But this is, this is things being revealed. So something is about to be revealed. Somebody is about to get a reality check. I feel like it's this person that is emotionally bankrupt, that doesn't follow their heart, that has abandoned another person, that has been trying to punish another person, is about to get a reality check because something is coming to an end and they don't even know it because this person isn't even intuitive. It's actually, I mean, we have good fortune here and we have good fortune here. It's actually very fortunate, you know, so there's, there's something very fortunate that is happening over here. Okay, this is the, an ending of a, of a painful situation. Somebody is being broken free. There's been illusion. There's been a confusion. There's been fear. There's been uh, darkness. But there's about to be a big change. There is about to be a big change. Somebody is heading in a more positive direction. And maybe they've hurt somebody really, really, really badly because of their inability to... Uh, express their feelings or to follow their heart, trying to punish another person. Whoever this person is that has been trying to punish another person, you know, everything is about to change. You know, what goes around comes around. So it's interesting. You know, we may have somebody here that is about to get exactly what they gave. This is a reality check. So we have somebody here that is about to get a reality check because things are going to change in a very positive manner. Um, this person right here, whoever this person is, they are going to be having a separation of some sort. There's going to be a disconnection or a detachment from a partnership that is not compatible. Okay, And this is a card of fate and karma and destiny. So there is a destined change here. Um, I'm 
whoever is on this side hasn't been able to face reality. They haven't. But they're about to get a new perspective in some way. A new perspective is coming for this person that hasn't been following their heart, that has abandoned another person. Because I feel like they're, they're going to lose something. Okay, they're going to lose a connection. And whoever this person is over here has been thinking about letting go for quite some time. And there's an opportunity for a commitment here, obviously. But there's an opportunity for happiness, but it will require action to be taken. So this person over here has been thinking about it for a while. Something has happened in December. Maybe that's when the planning starts about leaving. So maybe somebody over here has been waiting for some sort of apology that's never coming. Now the decision is being made to leave. Anyhow, um, the, the most for whoever this person is, the most difficult part of the situation is over. We definitely have an ending here because we, we have these tens and that up there. So there is an ending. We have an ending. We have a separation here. This person on this side did not put in effort. They didn't work. Something isn't working out because they didn't put in enough effort to do so. And whoever you know they were dealing with, uh, wasn't giving them the emotional fulfillment that they needed. So this could be you, this could be them, whatever it is. I do believe that we have somebody on this side that is probably getting into a new commitment. They may be getting together with somebody new. They may be running into somebody else. You know, there could be a reunion with somebody else. Somebody could be going back to the past because whoever they've been with, you know, didn't put in effort. Somebody didn't put in effort. And therefore, there's going to be a loss. And I do believe that there's a new commitment here. Um, somebody is also building, and I think it's you, Cancer, or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is going to be building a new foundation with a soulmate after they have been in an emotionally unfulfilling situation that they have stayed in because it was stable, because it was secure, but it wasn't, there was no love there. This, it's, an, it's coming to an end. It is definitely coming to an end. Somebody was fearful to take action. Um, but I do see that somebody is walking away because they want happiness, they want a commitment, and they want love. So maybe this is maybe this is you. I don't know. And it's interesting because the other readings I've done, I did not give the spiel that it could be either side. I've done three other readings with this uh, setup, and your, yours is the only one that I said. You know, it could be this side, it could be this side. So I, you're gonna have to choose which side is you. I do feel like. Uh, there is a change here. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a season. And we do have a new beginning. Um, somebody has been hiding something. And it's, and it's going to be revealed with that moon card. Something is going to be revealed that causes this change, change of direction. This is liberation. It is freedom. Um, it's a very positive change, whatever it is. Perhaps this is your side and you've been in a very emotional situation where there's been a lot of heartache, there's been a lot of sadness, and there's been a need to prove something you may, or to punish somebody or whatever. And you get this realization that it's not about that anymore. It's about, you know, uh, better things. It's about walking away. It's about not living in that victim mentality and, and sacrificing yourself for a painful situation when you can just be free from it. So I feel like a decision is being made this week to change your direction, to change. I feel like this is your side. Isn't that very interesting? I feel like this is your side. I feel like you are changing your direction this week and you are, I feel like you've been in a situation where there's been a, there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering and somebody else has been hurt in the process. You know, somebody, because they, it feels like I needed to punish this person. I, and I do feel like this is your side. You know, I feel like the need to punish somebody, you know, well, obvious. And like I said, I don't know if I said it, but I was thinking it come back to bite you in the ass. Somebody may have gotten themselves into a commitment with somebody, you know, and karma's a bitch. And this is a card of karma. So I feel like somebody got themselves involved with somebody who taught them a lesson about love and commitment. You know, and they stayed, but this person may have stayed for financial stability or for financial security, but this is about love letting go and going after happiness. So that's what I see. Good luck, Cancer. It's all about happiness.